Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Surya Study Circle. In my previous video, we have discussed about transportation in uh, plants. So I hope you all have enjoyed. I know that I have not uploaded uh, videos from a uh, long time, but I will video. Uh, I will upload the videos now. So to, in our today's video, we are going to discuss again about mathematics. So without wasting any other time, myself Sujan Badvi, I am the founder of Sujan Study Circle. Let us dive into our today's video title: Properties of Operations on Whole Numbers. Okay, guys. So now in our previous video of mathematics, I have discussed about the operations, the types of numbers, uh, okay, and their examples too. In our today's video, uh, as you know that we are going to discuss about the properties which I have mentioned in my previous video. So let's begin. Let us discuss about the properties of uh, addition. Uh, there are uh, uh, some properties in all the operations. First of all, let us discuss about addition on whole numbers. Why are not natural numbers? Because natural numbers include from 1 to infinite. Okay. And uh, these whole numbers include uh, uh, all the natural numbers and 0. Okay. So, uh, let us directly discuss about whole numbers. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to discuss our properties of addition over whole numbers. Okay. First, we have closure property. Okay. First, we have closure property. Now, what is this? Let us see the formula of this. The formula of closure property is A plus B is equals to C. Okay. So, now, these are A. Uh, what is the uh, meaning of this statement? So, uh, instead of A, we can put number instead of these. If we add these both numbers, we are going to get another whole number. Okay. Uh, so, instead of A, I am going to uh, take uh, 2 and instead of B, I am going to take 3. So, here we are going to get 5. So, 5 is a whole number. So, uh, closure property is closed under addition on whole numbers. Okay, closure property is closed on addition. Uh, okay, now second one is commutative property. Now, let us uh, check the statement or the formula is A plus B is equals to C is equals to B plus A. Uh, or else we can write it as A plus B is equals to B plus A. Let us check. Okay, instead of A, B, we are going to say, uh, take 1 plus 2, okay, is equal to 3. Now, uh, 3 is equal to 2 plus 1, it is right. Here also, 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1. We are going to get 3 on both sides. RHS side is equal to LHS side. So, thus, commutative property is also closed under addition on whole numbers. Now, let us check the associative property. What does it say? It says A plus B in bracket. Okay. And plus C is equals to A plus B plus C. B and C in bracket. Okay. These both are equal. Let us check. 1. I am going to take uh, 1 instead of A. Uh, 2 instead of B plus uh, 3 instead of C. Similarly, here also we have to take 2 plus 3. Uh, according to board mass rule, okay, according to board mass rule, we should first uh, always simplify the brackets. Okay, then of that means multiplication, then division, then multiplication okay then addition and this is subtraction okay so now here we have brackets so here also we have brackets now uh, so first let us solve 3 
plus 3 we are going to get here also 1 plus 5 we are going to get if we add this both we are going to get the 6 on both side LHS side and also RHS side so thus we can say that associative property is closed under addition on whole numbers now let us check the other property okay guys now and this is our next property that is identity uh, additive identity now what is this additive identity let us uh, see so this additive identity refers to zero so in addition it is a special uh, number okay which is the first whole number okay so now uh, this additive identity means zero why it is special because if we add any number to zero we are going to get that number itself a plus zero is equals to a one plus zero one zero is nothing but also it is considered as whole number so we are going to get the same okay so this is about the additive identity now let us discuss about the subtraction on whole numbers properties of subtraction on whole numbers similarly here also we have closure property let us check whether this will uh, work or not so according to closure property it is a uh, plus b in uh, addition but here we are going to get a minus b is equal to c now these three should be whole numbers okay because we are testing on the whole numbers now why has written condition 1 and condition 2 let me tell you so first let us discuss about condition 1 if i take a smaller number uh, smaller number on the a and bigger number on the b what we are going to get let us see okay so here we are going to get instead of a i am going uh, going to take um, 1 and here i am going to take so now for, uh, we have to subtract this as uh, here I have told that plus into minus or uh, minus into plus we are going to subtract so here it is uh, plus into minus so we are going to subtract it 2 minus 1 1 and the bigger number sign is 1 so we are going to get minus 1 we are going to get a number but it is not a whole number in condition 1 we are not getting the whole number so it is not closed in condition 1 it is it is not closed okay now in condition 2 if i take uh, change these numbers 2 and 1 uh, like this we are going to get 1 so now it is closed so we are going to take it as not close since we are going to get uh, the integers 2. Now let us discuss about, about commutative property on subtraction. Now we have understood the both the conditions then we are going to tell that uh, the subtraction does not is not closed under commutative property on whole numbers. So here we are going to get this and here we are going to get this so here minus 1 and here 1 plus 1 so uh, according to commutative property it will should be a plus b is equals to uh, b plus a so here these both are not equal okay uh, sorry here minus will come instead of plus so it is not it is not closed okay now associative property this says uh, that uh, a minus b this both in bracket minus c is equals to a minus b and minus c in bracket now 1 minus 2 in bracket and minus 3 similarly here 1 minus 2 minus 3 first we have to solve the bracket so we are going to uh, uh, get minus 1 minus 3 and here also we are going to get uh, the uh, here also we have minus symbol so we are going to get uh, minus 5 okay we have to add this okay now here we are going to get minus 4 while here we are going to get minus 4 itself but these both are equal so it should be closed but no because these are both are not whole numbers okay these are integers so we can tell that associative property is not closed under subtraction for whole numbers okay now let us discuss about the uh, 
property of zero in subtraction. Okay. Now what is added uh, here? Additive identity we are going to get zero. Okay. But here what it happens? Let us see. So according to additive identity property, we are going to get uh, if we add any number to the uh, zero, we are going to get the same. So here also we are getting a minus zero is equals to a itself. Let us check whether this statement is true or false. So here we are going to get uh, one minus zero. So here also uh, we are going to get one itself. So this is the property of zero in subtraction on whole numbers. This video would be very long, so I have divided it into parts. So I hope you all have enjoyed our today's video. If you have done, then please like, share this video with your friends and relatives and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I will meet you in the next part of this video very soon as much as possible. Till then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.